Hey everybody, Jake Simons here, Wani Robotics, head coach of the Woodview Eagle Bots from Napanee, Indiana. And today I wanted to talk about a couple different things. Two things. First, what is your role as a coach? A lot of coaches are kind of confused on what they're allowed to do, what they're not allowed to do. And thankfully, the REC Foundation has come out with a student-centered policy. There's no more gray area anymore. In fact, they have it divided up into green, yellow, and red. Green and yellow being student-centered, red being adult-centered. When it comes to outside the events at your practices at your school in your basement or wherever you hold practices with your team this is what it talks about mechanical design now the green and the yellow are considered student centered and then of course the red here no that means no don't do what's in here do not do what's in here it says adults providing students with pre-made instructions or a model to copy for competitive robot designs adults building the robot with no student assistance adults building or designing all or portions of the robot that is is used as is at an event. This would not be as is, obviously. This is very primitive. So going to the yellow section here, this is what's allowed. I just kind of read right here. Uh, adults providing primitive pre-made mechanical design learning tools. Example of four bar linkage, or in this case, a choo-choo linkage. For students to reference and students build and modify mechanisms for their own robots. Obviously, this right here cannot go on a robot. It wouldn't even fit, but it's definitely a learning tool, something that you can show, a prototype that you can show the kids so that they know what a choo-choo mechanism is. If you don't teach it, if you don't coach it, they'll never know how to build one. This is a prototype right here. Not the best prototype in the world, but it's one that shows how this linkage works. So let me go ahead and take this here. This is my beautiful daughter, Nora. Say hi. She's five years old. Are you going to be in the Eagle Bot someday? Um, yeah. <laughs> okay, so here is the choo choo mechanism. You can see right here, very simple. I'm just bar right here. You have the linkage right here, one piece connecting and pivoting uh, right here with a second piece connecting into the gear. It's important to have a stopper right here. You can obviously choose whatever gear ratio you would like, but we just, for the sake of building a quick choo-choo mechanism, this is a 36 tooth to a 60 tooth gear. And of course, it's important to have the rubber bands here for tension to help it spring. And so I'm gonna have my daughter go ahead and press this top button and you'll see what happens here. I'm gonna hold this down because it has quite a bit of punch. Yes, go ahead and press the top button. You can see how quickly it reloads there. So imagine having a, you know, a bucket on the back of this right here. Kind of reload and shoot it. And all right, you can go ahead and stop. You would want to play with the tension of your rubber bands, play with the placement of your pivot here. Go higher, lower, forward, backwards on this. That's all part of the learning process for these kids. But just for the sake of showing them how a choo-choo mechanism works, Here's this. What I love about this game pitching is that there are a ton of design options. And obviously your job as a coach is to kind of present your students with several different options, real world options, by the way. Show them how these different prototypes apply to the real world and then let them just have at it and just explore. And that's the best part about robotics. Guided teaching. That's important. Can you say bye?